podium to our Congresswoman Nicole Melia Thomas. Thank you, Mario. Um, thank, great job, Mario, outlining the problem. Um, I want to thank all the members of the community that are here today because we need more people throughout Staten Island, throughout New York City, and throughout New York State who are willing to step up and talk about how these policies are affecting them and making our neighborhoods less safe. I was a state legislator at the time that this bail reform passed. I voted against it because I saw that it was going to tie the hands of law enforcement. You can have police make arrests, you can have DAs prosecute, but if you have these bail laws in place that automatically release people, despite the fact that they have a dozen, two dozen, three dozen prior arrests, that we were going to see crime skyrocket. And that is exactly what has taken place. So for the last two years, I've been advocating, working with the community, working with whoever will work with us to try to get these reforms repealed, or at the minimal, get them changed, to make sure that we're considering dangerousness, that we are adding crimes back onto the list in which a judge can use discretion. And, you know, prior to leaving to go to Congress, we did fight and get Criminally, uh, criminally negligent manslaughter. We were fighting to get homicide, some felony uh, drug arrests back onto the list in which a judge can use discretion. But think about that. We had to fight for seven months to get homicide and manslaughter back on a list in which a judge can use discretion. That is absolutely outrageous. And we've been doing, uh, I'm on an American security task force in Washington. We've been meeting with law enforcement regularly and we've met with the NYPD uh, over the summer and the NYPD <laughs> officials will tell you, the unions will tell you that, because I see your sign here about illegal guns, nine out of 10 people caught with an illegal firearm are being released back into the street because of this bail law. And 50% of the people who actually shoot someone with an illegal firearm are being released back onto the street because of this bail reform. So we have seen categories of crime all across the board increase sharply over the last two years. I think I read something today about so far it's up about 60, 60 so percent over last year. But guess what? Last year it was above the year before. And the year before that, it was above the year before. And it is a result of this bail law. It's a result of anti-police rhetoric that we've heard. It is a result of those who chose to cut funding from our police and tie the hands of our law enforcement. And so we're here today to say enough. We have had enough of these policies. We wanna see action from the state legislature. We wanna see it repealed. We wanna see it fixed. So the stats are the stats. Crime is increasing. Robbery, rape, grand larceny, assault, hate crimes, car thefts, all up, all up. And it is a result of these policies. So uh, I look forward to continuing to work with the people of the Port Richmond Civic Association and community groups all across our district to fight for just common sense. That's what we want. We just want common sense. We want public safety and we want to put in laws that actually work to keep the bad guys in jail and, and let's stop putting the criminals before the victims here. Thank you.